it was a better time. A little season of peace. Oh, it looks wonderful. Thank you, Jamila. Malik? Jalila, come quickly. The Prophet's wife is sick. Khadija? Oh, no. Go, Jalila. this time the year of sadness because Abu Talib was dying too come near Mohammed Quraysh asked one thing before I die that I will get your word to leave their religion alone. We will not attack or preach against you if you agree not to preach against us. Then the Prophet, peace and blessing upon him, said, I will. Did you hear? <laughs> it's over! And quickly added, all I ask is one word of assurance from you. And if you give it, all of Arabia and Persia will be yours. Speak then! Witness with me that there is one God, and deny all the others. Oh, nephew. I knew when they brought you to me as a boy that you were something special. And you are. You are. <laughs> My day has finally arrived. I am now your leader. <laughs> yes. Well, in name at least. What? Call yourself king if you want. But don't ever get in my way. Good. Now let's solve problem number one, shall we? The Muslims. No. Muhammad. <laughs> So free! Peace, Abu Jahal. Where swords have failed us, words shall cut deep. Ah, our poets! They're turning the people against Muhammad as we speak. Even Abu Lahab is doing well. Beware, friends from afar. My nephew over there has revolution in his heart. Revolution? He says he's a prophet. But what he really wants is to make himself king over us all! Make him suffer! When Muhammad says our ways are wicked, when he says our gods are nothing more than silent stone, he's not only attacking you, he's attacking your fathers. He's saying they were wicked and stupid. Shall we endure such dishonor? No! Won't be long before the beatings begin. Now there's no Abu Talib to protect us. And 
know where to go. Bilal, right? Yes, do I? I'm Bara. I came last year with 12 others to hear the Prophet. Ah, from Yathrib, yes! We follow Islam now, with all our hearts. You hear that? 12 believers in Yathrib. No, hundreds. The Prophet must come to Yathrib. We need... We can't talk now. The Messenger of God will meet you on the hill at El Aqaba tonight. Messenger of God, please, say you'll come to Yethrib. Our city is filled with bloodshed, brother fighting brother. Only you and your message can bring peace. Say you'll come. If you do, we promise to protect and defend you. God has opened a door, O Messenger of God. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, accepted. And he instructed all of us to leave for Yathrib. I'm too scared to leave at night. The messenger of God doesn't want anyone to know we're leaving. Why couldn't we leave with everyone else? Shh. We couldn't all leave at the same time. It'd be too dangerous. It's time. Muhammad stayed to protect those who were left behind. Now, it's time for us to decide what to do with Muhammad. Throw him in prison. No, exile the man. Yes, yes! Take him to the edge of the desert and drop him off. Let him go. He's out of Mecca. Isn't that what we've wanted? Not if he's going to build an empire in Yethrib. Well, what if we kill him? Huh? Whoever kills him will be attacked by Muhammad's clan and others. Who will, will be the one? Who said it must be just one? Take one strong man from each clan and kill him together. That way the blood of Muhammad will be on everyone's hands. Then there can be no revenge. <laughs> Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, knew of their plot. And on that night he asked his cousin Ali, God's blessings be upon him, to sleep in the Prophet's bed, knowing no harm would come to him. there. When do we go in? We don't. We wait until he leaves the house for his morning prayers. Then... As the night drew on, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, prayed. And one by one, the assassins fell asleep. Oh. 